I'm Councilwoman Stacy Mungo, and this is another edition of Go Long Beach. Today, I'm here at Relativity, right here in the 5th District. We have more than two dozen space companies, and Relativity is one of them that's about to expand. So I'm here with Karen, talking a little bit about what's going on inside these walls. Karen, nice to see you. Hi, it's such an honor to be here with you today. So Relativity made a huge leap to come to Long Beach, and you've been in this facility a while, and you're about to expand to a million square feet. Why did you choose Long Beach as the home for Relativity? It was a really easy decision, actually. Um, the Long Beach area has a long history of aerospace, um, aerospace manufacturing, accomplishing really impressive things in space. So for recruiting purposes, it's a great place to be for the hub and the excitement around aerospace. And importantly, for the support that we get from the city and from um, the, you know, the local community, all makes it a really wonderful place. I had the great opportunity to get a tour of your facility a few months ago and see really cool stuff like this that's printed on 3D printers. You guys are really pushing the envelope on 3D printing. Um, if you're a young kid in the community, you can go to one of our libraries and do 3D printing with plastic. But here, you're doing it with metal and all sorts of cool things. Tell us more about that. Yeah, absolutely. So what you pointed to is a component of our Aeon engine, which is fully 3D printed. We use two kinds of printing at Relativity for 3D printing. We use DMLS print, um, printers, which look like large um, old school computer mainframes, if you think back to like the hidden figures days. Um, and then now we have our in-house um, uh, proprietarily developed Stargate. And Stargates are the printers that we're printing huge large scale um, components on, including the Terran 1 vehicle. And that's a really exciting expansion. We're really revolutionizing aerospace manufacturing at Relativity because we can build with 100 times fewer parts, we can build 10 times faster, and you can print a whole vehicle in about 60 days. It's amazing. I got to go down onto the floor and see some of these giant, I mean, they're huge all the way around. They're the size of a car. And then they go up all the way to the ceiling. And one of the cool things you talked about was if the floor moves because of an earthquake or anything, that the computer tells on itself. Tell us a little bit about that. So every single print is an improvement on the last one. We use AI, machine learning for the production that we're doing. So every piece of material that's laid down is recorded. That means that if we have flaw detection um, in the layup of that particular piece, that component, we, we detect that during our quality control process and we feed that back in as we produce the next vehicle. And so it's this constant iteration and improvement process that you don't get in traditional manufacturing and aerospace environment. How many employees do you have here? And when you grow and expand to the new facility over by the airport, how much bigger will your presence be and how many more employees do you think you'll take on? So we're around 500 employees at Relativity at this point. When I joined last summer, we were around 150. So significant growth is happening and that growth we'll see through the end of this year and continuing at that scale. Um, with the new facility, we're really um, excited and honored to be selected for a Cal Compete um, Award. And with that award, we made a promise to grow to at least a, um, a thousand employees. So one of the things that people talk about when I talk with different space companies is that we're surrounded by so many universities that have really strong engineering programs. So you really have a feeder program and I know you work hand in hand with Long Beach State and Long Beach City College. Um, tell us a little bit about your internship programs and how you're bringing in um, young dynamic individuals to help revolutionize the industry. Yeah, I think um, it's a really exciting aspect of, of our recruiting approach. But what's really, I think, great for me is the focus that we put on diversity, equity, and inclusion. So we are engaged with internship programs like Patty Grace Smith and with the Brooke Owens fellowships that focus specifically on um, women and on diverse groups um, coming into, into our facility as part of our internship programs. And then we, um, and, and along those lines, I'll put in a plug, we have recently posted our internship opportunities for summer 2022. So www.relativityspace.com slash careers, and you'll see a whole host of opportunities for interns for next year. That that said, you'll also find a whole list of positions that we're recruiting from, for on the engineering and technical side, as well as in other aspects of our business, right? Like supply chain, um, the finance team, the people team. There are a lot of different opportunities. So, you know, you can have a liberal arts degree like me and be in the space industry too. 
Well, all of that is so exciting and we're so blessed to have you here and that you're growing. Um, if you're interested in learning more about Relativity, um, you've heard the website, make sure to check it out. And there's always new job opportunities. Even our young high school kids should start learning about the opportunities that would be available. Because with the college promise, you can stay local, go to school local, and then you can get an internship right here in one of the more than two dozen space companies right in your own community. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been another episode of Go Long Beach.